Good morning. Welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for Thursday, January the 11th. Morning prayer begins on page 79. Send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. <laughs> Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought or grant to thee by what we have done and we have left in the We have not loved you. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are the innocent and we whom they repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we made a light in your way and in your place. <laughs> God, have mercy on you and forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep you in eternal life. Lord, open our lips. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, single. Um, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with song. For the Lord is a great God and a great king. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Um, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. He is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today we are his place. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 18, verses 1 through 20. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my stronghold, my crag, and my haven. My shield, you I will call upon the Lord, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. Cords of hell entangled me, and the snares of death were sent to me. He heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. My cry of anguish came to his ears. Smoke rose from his nostrils and a consuming fire out of his mouth. Hot burning coals blazed forth from him. He parted storm clouds. He mounted on the cherubim and flew. He swooped on the wings of the wind. He ran. From the brightness of his presence through the clouds burst hailstones and coals of fire. He loosed his arrows and scattered. He hurled thunderbolts and routed them. He reached down to my high and grasped me. He drew me out of great waters. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He as it was in the beginning, is now, will be forever. 
A reading from the Gospel according to John. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and also the prophets were. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no God. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You shall see greater things than these. And he said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks God. God. <clears throat> Sixteen. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He is raised up like a Savior, born of the house of his holy prophets, that he would save us from the hands of all the people. He promised to show mercy to us. And to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath of his Lord and Savior, to set him free from the hands of the free to worship him, fear, holy and righteous in his time, all the day of his life. You, my child, shall be called the Prince of Peace. For you will be prepared as well to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of the earth, the dawn of the morning to shine on the and the shine of the and to guide the people. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. I believe in God, all of my name, creator of heaven. Jesus Christ is in this time. He suffered He suffered and was crucified. Down. On the third day, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand. He will begin just living and dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Catholic Church, the community, the forgiveness of sins, the direction of the body, and the life of Christ. The Lord be with you. And also, only as it is in heaven. It must this day. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from you, but not into the and the power of the Show us your mercy, O Lord. Thank you, Minister of Righteousness. That your people bring us Give peace, O Lord, and all. Lord, keep this nation under your care. <laughs> Let your way be not far. Let not the needy be forgotten. Praise us, please, Lord. So, Father in heaven, who had the baptism of Jesus. Claim him, your beloved Son, and anointed him with grace. Grant that all who are baptized into his name may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Savior. 
who with you and the Holy Spirit is one God in glory and class. All life, we pray for your church. And through this wonderful and great mystery, you would teach us, strengthen us, and nurture us. Lord God, you have called all people to yourself, and your love will not let your children keep apart from us. Help us to experience, we pray, in the rich diversity of our backgrounds. The unity we share as the, the unity, unity we share as children of the same Heavenly Father. And help us to treasure our particularity knowing that each one of us has something unique to show the world of your wisdom and your care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord, we pray for your world, especially in these cold and dark nights. We remember those who do not have the shelter and the light that we take for granted. We pray for all those living on our streets in this city and country and for the multitudes throughout the world for whom what we regard as basic necessities would count as luxury. God of compassion, in whose sight all people are equally your children, bring your comfort to those in need. Be their warmth in the cold, be their light in, their dark, in the darkness, their shelter in the danger, and their companion in their loneliness. And open all our hearts that in place of seeking greater abundance and security for ourselves, we would use this world's resources to provide food, warmth, and hope for all. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Mm -hmm. It's time I invite your own obsessions and thanksgivings. <laughs> <laughs> Your mercy. Your mercy. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all of your goodness and loving kindness to us and to you. We bless you for the creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this world, but above all, for your measure in the redemption of Jesus Christ. For the means of grace, and we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercy that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your grace, not only with your lips, but in our lives, by giving us the and by walking with your holiness all of us through Jesus Christ, to whom you and the Holy Spirit be honoring and praying for salvation. Let us bless the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Yeah.